Hey Board Game Maniacs, the Maniacs are here again to bring you another episode of Gloomhaven. When you're watching this, this is probably going to be the last video in the Gloomhaven month. And we are doing episode 5 which is called Frozen Hollows. I'll explain everything that's going on, but you know, we see Maniac Lance and Maniac Shane is back with their characters. Uh, we did do some leveling up, is that correct? I believe we did, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we did, a, we did a little bit of leveling up too as well, so I don't know if all of us are level 2 now. If so, we're going to have to upgrade the monsters to be level 2 as well. And we already have a lot of trouble with the monsters at level 1, so it's going to be interesting to see. Hopefully, not all of us has leveled up yet because I don't want to attack level 2 monsters. So, have a seat. Get ready to watch Gloomhaven Episode 5. It is the Frozen Hollows. Unfortunately, we just double checked and all of us are a level two. So now the monsters are a level two, our enemies are a level two, so it's gonna make things a little more difficult. And again, the game we're playing is Frozen Hollow, and the goal of this is kill all enemies, the requirements that we had to do was nothing. So we could have picked this out of all the other ones that we put on the map on the previous episode, so we did and, you know, chose Frozen Hollow. Because we just have to kill all the enemies. Pretty much just to sum up what the story is for this is, uh, we're in Gloomhaven, and we went into this bar, this bar has been a dilapidated, abandoned bar, and this ghostly, etherical spirit has appeared and told us, that if we go and we get this shiny blue orb and take it back to her, that she will reward us. So we're like, yeah, we'll, we'll do that, no problem. And we are gone now to the Copper Neck Mountains where we are going to find the Frozen Hollows. And we have to kill all the enemies. Pretty much that's what it is, is a, in a nutshell, summing it up. You can see we have the first room set up right here. And you notice too as well, as I'm playing this game as much as I can without being handheld. I may switch over to handheld if I don't find it working, but I have a tabletop tripod, and we're going to try this out. So comment down below and let us know what you think of this type of shooting, if you like it better than what you did when we did the handheld stuff. And as always, like the video, share the video, and subscribe to our channels on both YouTube, Twitch, Instagram, and Facebook to be notified when more videos come up to date. Whew, that was a big mouthful. So we are hey, playing the game. Send us some money. You can always do that. Yeah, yeah. Or, or products or games or whatever. We are struggling right now to try to find. T-shirts. I like t-shirts. <laughs> case we're, of beer. Yeah, no, no, can't send a case of beer. <laughs> uh, but that'd be nice. But anyhow, um, we are struggling to see if we can find a game that we can play for retroactive because we are done officially of a retroactive series for Hero Class. So again, if you have any ideas, comment down below and let us know what games that you would think that we should play for retroactive. I am actually thinking of Fireball Island. It is more of a kid's game, but I was in one of the game stores over the weekend and they just re-released Fireball Island with the 3D terrain. And it looks really cool. I remember playing that game once or twice when I was a kid and, or, you know, seeing people play the game. Either way, it looked like a lot of fun. Let me know what you think of Fireball Island, if you had the new expansion that came out recently, and we'll go from there. So, this is our characters, and then we're going to pick our initiative and everything, and we'll be back for the first turn. Again, it's going to switch back and forth between static camera and free-forming camera. So, Last time, did you level up or did you upgrade any of your cards or anything there, Lance? Uh, I leveled up, yep. Yeah. I leveled up and I picked a new perk. I got the uh, Ignore Negative Scenario Effects. Ah, that's really good and you'll know why in a second. And I Shane. Mean, all three of us have that. Uh, I currently just chose to add two muddle cards to my deck. Oh, that's good too. I did you buy any other equipment? I did not. No. No, what I did is I had enough gold that I actually did purchase a piercing bow. And it's during your range attack, ignore any shield values or the entire attack action. It's a two-handed one, so I can't hold anything else with my hands. 
and it is a discard after being used. Discard for this scenario. But when you start a new scenario, you get it back again. And I also, I already had the ignore negative scenario effects. Actually, you and I got it at the same yeah, time. Yeah, picked it. That was our first perk we chose, yeah. Yeah. And uh, the other perk that I did pick for he leveled up, because every time you level up, you get to have another check mark. And that filled what I needed to grab another one. And I picked remove four plus zero cards from my hand. So I took out all the plus plus zero cards, which is really cool. Now, Lance, before when I said you'll find out which really good because that re ignore negative scenario effects. Yeah. Special rules for this scenario is add three minus one cards to each character's attack modifier deck as a scenario effect. So therefore, we don't have to add that because we chose that perk to ignore all negative scenario effects. That's awesome. Yeah, that's really good. And you can probably see I have my green screen in the background there. I didn't roll it up. I forgot to before he shot this video, so we are keeping it down, and that's just it. Uh, all right, so this is it. So we are on to round one. Like I said, we're going to pick our initiatives and see if we can do some damage. Oh, before we, before we start, I never talked about the type of... Uh, Villains we are fighting in this round. We're new. I never we actually we never ever encountered any of these villains before because living, living spirits and hounds. Yeah, the hounds of living spirits and frost demons is another one which is going to be in one of the uh, other no, rooms. Yeah. No, oh, not yet. Uh, yeah, no, we have we, we fought, first we fought hounds. Did we fight hounds? We, did we fight fought hounds. those in the first. Yeah, because I remember I hated the retaliate. Yeah, we never fought these ones. Oh yes, that's yeah, right. Yeah, these guys have shields, which I'm okay with. Yeah, so the. Two out of the three monsters are villains we did not encounter yet. It's going to be interesting. Hopefully, we're going to be able to uh, beat this game and not get one of us to, you know, expire because that would be horrible. Before we start, I totally forgot that we have to do the city card and the road card before we go to the Frozen Hollow. So, Lance, you got the city card, so why don't you read it and we'll find out what options we have. All right. Ah, the Sleeping Lion. Surely there is no better place to get a drink and relax after clearing out some dank dungeon. On this particular occasion, though, you are approached by a heavily scarred Inox. She sits at your table and pushes forward a piece of paper. An interested party would like to hire you to steal a valuable figurine from a residence in the battlements, she says. Matter of factly, the details are on the paper. Meet me in the back alley in two days, time after the job is done. Uh, we got option A. Do the job, option B, don't do the yeah. job. Except the mysterious job, you can handle anything. Option B. And credulously explain she must have the wrong people and you won't take the job. Hmm. Say we take the job. You say uh, we take the job? I think we're good guys. Good guys get awarded with reputation and prosperity. We should not be stealing from people in town. So we shouldn't take the job, I think we should not take the job. Well, our prosperity, we are two away from getting two for prosperity. Correct. Um, but we need these things. Yes. I, I, I think I fought last time on a road card about the same Actually, thing. Actually, Matt, you're thinking of it? Yeah. And we should always be doing the right thing. Yeah. Because doing the right thing always pays off. Yeah, we'll go with B. You're going with B and you're going B. So it don't yeah. really matter what I vote. Well, yeah. What would you have voted? I really don't know because we already went and we slaughtered an Onox encampment before, so sure we, we should did. just say like, "Hey, we're not trusting you," and just. But they were an encampment of bandits. Yes. This is just a person. No, that's what I mean. That We've were. already slaughtered a, a a camp, so I would choose not to do what she says because yeah. we learned from experience that Onox are not to be trusted. Kind of, but yeah. the girl that sent us on that. She was evil, and she escaped through the window, remember? Yeah. Spoiler just, alert if you've ever seen any of the other videos. I just don't think we should be robbing other civilians of Blue Maven. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree too. So yeah, let's go with, B. go with B. Okay, right. so what does it say there, Lance, for B? Uh, you grab the Inox's arm as she is getting up to leave and push the paper back toward her. She looks incredibly angry as you explain that your group doesn't do this sort of thing. She wordlessly grabs the plans and storms out of the bar. No effect. Okay. Don't tell us what the other effect is, but I'd be curious to see what it is. But, all right, so then we're going to go to Shane and we're going to read the road card. Just stand by for that. 
onto this, uh, the road card now. So, Shane, what is right, so the road, is our road card here? Wait a minute. Wait, there's something wrong with you, Shane, tonight. I wonder what is looking off with you. Well, it has been the holidays. I've gained a little bit of weight. No, no, oh, isn't that? Oh, that's him. Yeah, no, no, yeah, it, it's yeah. something else. Doesn't We're not going to say on. what it is. No, he, he's been playing other games with no glasses too as well. But if anybody knows what's off about Shane in this video, comment down below and let us know. I'm curious to see if anybody can tell what is strange. Uncle Rob will give you a free hug. But Shane, <laughs> he, that's really scary. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay, anyhow, so Shane, go ahead with the uh, road card. All right then, so not far outside of Gloomhaven, you look up and see a large bird flying overhead. Something is odd, though its movements are jerky and there is smoke billowing out of it. Then you see it plunge into a sudden nosedive and crash to the ground off to the east. You rush to the scene and find a limping, soot-covered uh, quattrel kicking a giant winged contraption made of leather and metal. Curse this wretched thing, he yells in frustration. I thought I'd worked it out. And then suddenly lost pressure in the piston chamber. And he looks over at you. You there. Wonderful timing. Help me get this thing back in the air. There's no time to waste. So do we do what he asks? Or do we demand an explanation before we help him out? Well, if we are sticking with being helpful and, you know, trying to build up reputation and everything, we should probably just help the guy. Yeah. They both help out, though. Both answers help out. One is just do what he says. The second one is to be an explanation before you help. Um. So they, they both are helping him out. Yeah. I don't know what a quattro is. I'm assuming it's, you know, like a gnome that builds contraptions. Hmm. I think we we should just play stupid and just help them out without question them anything. That's my thoughts. What about you, Shane? What do you think? Uh, I want to question them about it. You say question, I say just bell him and Lance. Uh, we don't know if he's a good guy, we don't know if he's a bad guy. We just know he's flying something. Yeah. It's a question. You're going to question, so it don't matter again what I yeah, say. Yeah, you, you, your opinion does not matter. No, ever. no. don't All matter. Right. So, you force the Quattro to slow down and talk to you, but his eyes keep darting around in panic. See, he sounds like a bad guy. Uh, don't you understand? The world needs my technology now. I must perfect it. It will revolutionize everything. So he's got something with an engine. He's got this thing. Uh, you agree that the power of flight is pretty great. But you convince the Quattro that the world can wait a day for him to get some rest and organize his thoughts. You help him transport the broken machine back to town. Gain one prosperity. Oh, so we got a prosperity. Nice. So we're one away from getting two prosperity onto the map. This is great. I'm going I'm to I'm pencil that in right now. Yeah, you're going to pencil in. Go ahead. So we got three checked off. Yes, we do. Nice, so we are one away. This is good, because once we get four, then we go up to Prosperity 2. Correct, which gives us different items we can purchase. Right, we actually get to, I was just looking at it in the book today when I was setting up actually, that we do get extra items into the, the store that we can purchase, which will again, there's some pretty sweet items coming up, and well, it'll be and good. And because of our reputation, we get a discount as well. It, yes. It pays to be good, people. Yeah, and I sold all of my gold already for my piercing bow. But hey, I might get more gold in this. Who knows? Maybe we can sell this stuff off. Maybe you can sell your bow to Lance. Hmm. Here's five gold. Uh, no. What a bargain. Yeah. For me, yeah. Let's go on to the first round. All right, so we are doing our initiative. So the order, what is your initiative uh, chain? I got a 90 and a 36, so 36. 36. The, the living spirit so far is winning with a 22. A 22, and what do you have, Lance, for your 48. initiative? 48. So yeah, it's yeah. going to be living Shane. Spirit. Li what living spirits? They have 22. Oh, have living spirits, you, and then me, because I'm actually, I have a hot fast one of 38. This right. is amazing. So the living spirits, uh, they're going to move. They have, we'll go with the elite one first. He has a movement of four. 
But his modifier is minus one, so he can move three. So, one, two, three. And then he can't do anything else. He don't have any range attack or anything? He can't shoot around corners, and there's an obstacle in his way. True, lane. true, true. And then there, uh... The other, the other one, one now? He only gets a movement of three minus one, so only a so movement two. of two. So two. All right. And uh, then the, so the next they is can 36. shoot. Yep. Which is you? Which is me. All right. You know what you're gonna do first, or? Uh, I do. All, All right. I'm going to do an attack three range four. So one, two, three. Oh wait. No, you can't. You don't have enough range. All right. So that one's gonna be wasted apparently. Because I, 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 the other one thing I'm doing is a bottom move. It is attack five range four. No, it isn't. So I messed up. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just gonna. I, I'm well, gonna, you can I, just I, I, choose two to move he's somewhere. Range four. Uh, there's an obstacle. Yeah, you can't shoot you can't an shoot obstacle. Over that obstacle. It's stalactites. Oh, so you need five. Yeah. See, I, I, I was looking at your character when I planned out my shots, and there yeah. was no way. Yeah. Uh, all right. So I, I guess I'll just move two on the one of these cards. So which way do you want to move? Like this way. At this, this point, way? I don't really care. All right. So <laughs> we'll move you. So at least you're standing. In front Part, of slag tight, so you can still cover, shoot yeah. this way, yeah. All right. And then for your second action? Uh, my second action would just be an attack. It's just a generic attack, which I can't do. Do you have a range? Oh, no, wait. Yes. Yeah, you have a range right, so attack. So I'll use the bottom so. one on this one as my move. Yeah. That was my attack five. Okay, perfect. Yep. And then I've got an attack three, range four. Okay, so oh. you're going to hit number yeah. three or number two. You can either hit one or... Actually, you can't hit two. You can only hit three because the corner is blocking him. All right, so I guess I'll be hitting number three. All right. At, a, at attack three. And your modifier? Is just a plus zero. Okay. So three. Three hits. Uh, the Hounds have retaliate, but I'm not up close. I don't think they can retaliate to uh, range. They can not if they have range. They don't have They range. don't, so that nothing's right. going to happen. So then he's just going to take the, the the free damage. And they don't have any shields. And the, nope. the regulars have a health of six, so you got three left on them. Yeah, that, that's not bad for a Nope, little that's really good. Round I thought I'd really royally messed up on. Well, you didn't know. That's that. Because we always forget that you don't have to do what the, the yeah. big text can, says on the card. You can yeah, choose whatever you one. want. Yeah. yeah, and so we're on to my turn. Because this is surprising. I'm actually going before Lance does. Because I'm usually the last one on in the game to go. But it's on my turn. On to my turn. I have an initiative of 38. Now I can choose. Once you pick your card for initiative, you can switch between what you want to do. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Move up two or three. I want to try to get at this guy right here, which is the elite, because the elite scare me all the time. Yeah, but wouldn't it be easier to just actually wipe a guy out? Yeah, he's. He, I have a. The other card is range five attack two. So even if I hit him for two plus my modifier card. If it's good, you could kill him, but to me, it makes more sense to knock out a guy. Then they yeah. just have a bunch of wounded guys because then when they attack, there's less of them attacking. Yeah, true. So I'm gonna first. So that's what I'll do first. I'll do my range five attack two first onto number three. All right. And the modifier is going to be a plus zero. So. So just two damage. Yeah, two damage. All right, let's get him close to dead though. Yep. Now for movement for me, I am going. What's their movement? Uh, the wolves. Yeah. The hounds, sorry. Um, their movement is either four for a regular or five for an elite. And they got a minus two on their movement for the card. They have a minus two on their movement for their modifier card, correct. So I think I'm going to go up. I'm just going to go up one for now just to play it safe. And that just ends my turn right there. And we are going on to Lance's turn. All right, Lance, it's your turn. What are you doing? Well, first off, I'm going to summon my monstrous rat. Oh, you're doing the rat swarm? Hell yeah. He's gonna go there. And the rat swarm, the only thing that I find is... They're slow. Yeah, they're really slow. They only yeah. move one space. Well, this, this is the new one. This is the new one. Oh, this Because is when I leveled up, I got I got the level two oh, cards. yes, that's so right. So this, this one here, uh, it's got four health. Uh, movement is three. And attack is three. Oh, oh that's even better. So but it's, a, it's a little... Like the attacking and the health is a little less but it, than the yeah, other one, they can but, they but can I can actually faster. move. I can move more now. Yeah, now the, the other one only had one movement. Right. 
The only thing is you can't do anything with them this turn. Yeah. No. They activate no. at the beginning. But of I can turn. also, at the same time, I can use both of the summons. It's yeah. Both. So that's freaking awesome. Yeah. No, that's good because you can have multiple summons on the board. Yeah. We looked at that last time in the book. Yeah. So that was your first action. What's your next one? That was my first action. My next one, I'm going to use Submissive Affliction. And what does that do? Uh, I'm going to use the bottom one. So it's going to be force one enemy within range of five to perform attack two. Targeting another enemy with you controlling the action. So I'm going to take number two here. And he's going to... What's the range on that? Five? Yeah. I can attack him and I can make him attack that one. Or get him to attack number three to kill and him. You kill him. Yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna take two and I'm gonna attack three. So he's gonna attack this guy here. And he'll die. Yeah. Unless you get minus two on your modifier. Yes. Right. And hopefully you're not gonna have minus two. Uh, who knows? Let's go. Uh, plus one. Ah. All right. So that's three. So he is dead. Number three is eliminated. Bye bye, gone, gone. gone. Yeah, and we'll some dollar right. dollar bill y'all drops. Which is good. Now that ends your activation and we are on to the, the hounds. hounds. On to the hounds activation now. So Shane, what is the uh, card that was drawn for the hounds? Uh, it's a minus two move and a plus one attack. So we're gonna start with the elites. They have a movement of five normally, so instead they'll have a movement of three. Yes. So we're gonna go uh, one, two, and how smart do you think they are? Pretty smart. Eh? Well, they're, they're hounds, right? But the thing is, is I looked in the book and remember we had this thing about would they walk in the trap? They would go around the trap. They're smart enough. That's not just the hounds. It's okay, everything. So they so. would be smart enough to know that he should move here so that his fellow hound could move here. Yes, that's right. All right. That's the way I would do it. But... Uh, that means the two of them are attacking you, though, because... Yeah, I know. That's why I was curious how smart they are. Um, let's, th let's say that the hounds are stupid. It's a, of, <laughs> it's a pack of wolves, too, so technically, yeah, yeah, yeah. if they're in a pack, they're surrounding you. I, yeah. I, I think they would be smart. And they're, they're yeah, they, they will, they're I know. Wolves, well, hounds. whatever, same thing. Like, so again, so the attack modifier, then? All right, they've got a plus one modifier. Ooh. So the first one attacks me with a plus zero. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, well, their normal attack is two, plus so three. Uh, that's, they're elite. Uh, oh, yes, those are the elites. So four. Uh, no, they're three, that's what I said. Three. Yeah, plus the one three. is yes, four. So four. Yes, okay, so that's four for the first hit. Yep. And the second one got a plus one, so that'll be five. So, so that's nine. That's nine. Do you have anything that you can use? Uh, I've, got, I've got my hide armor, which I've definitely taken two of those hits on. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to die. You're going to be in trouble. And then I'll take the one hit on my shield as well. All right. Because, uh, yeah. So that's nine minus that's six. I just took six hits. Now, on the channel, I do ask if anybody has any comments or questions to either comment on the video or to email. And I did receive an email, and what they asked is, can you use more than one item on your turn as a hero? And the answer is yes. You can use as many items as you want on your turn. So just to clarify, Ken, I wish I remember who the person was that asked that question, but unfortunately I don't. But if you're watching this and you're following, obviously they are because they did send a, a question to us. We're still learning the rules. We're still trying to learn the rules, and we're trying to get them as... We're you also know, not the smartest people. No, <laughs> but I did look that up, that rule, and yes, you can use more than one item on your turn. Well, that's good, because I did. Yes. So how much damage did you take then? Uh, I took six. That's... Six points of damage. Uh. There were two elite wool, or two elite... Yeah, points. I know. So, and it's my fault for moving up, you know. But then the, the non-elite gets to move now. He has a movement of four minus two, so he gets to move two. So he's just going to pop up with his other buddies. Over and there. he's got no range or nothing, so he's yeah. done. No, he, he's finished. Lance, I think you and I got to go in with your rat swarm and help Shane out. Yeah. So that ends the first round. We're going to go on to round two. But again, as usual, I'm not going to keep the video length really long and record everything. When something big happens, we will return. <laughs> on Shane's turn, uh, what did you plan on doing there, Shane? I'm going to be doing uh, throwing knives. It's uh, attack two, range three, target two. So I'm going to start off by attacking uh, Hound number two, and I've got a times two, so that's going to be four damage to 
Uh, actually, Whoa, you, you I'm, got playing this, I'm playing two? this. I'm playing this wrong. Sorry. I'm gonna do my move first. Okay. Which moves me to here. I'm doing a move two, and then I'm doing that attack. All right. And so, still hound number two, right? Correct. So and the, so he's gonna take four damage on hound number two. And he's one of the elites, which I he is cannot elite. yes. stand. Yeah. The elite. Yes, seven health, but he's more than half dead. Yep. Uh, so my second target is gonna be hound number one, and. I got a muddle on him. So he is attacked for the two. Plus a muddle. So muddle is like disadvantage. Uh, uh, let me look it up right here. Um, muddle, disadvantage on attacks, remove at end of next turn. Yep. Yeah. So hail number one is muddled now. Yes. And so you're all. Number one, number two. I say you're all locked, but he's probably coming after me anyway. As soon as you get the chance. Uh, and your initiative was 10? Yes, it was. Wow, that's that's not pretty good. And Lance, what was your I'm initiative also, on I'm this one? I'm also chucking my healing potion for those of you paying attention. Okay. So with the healing potion, uh, what happens when you uh, drink your healing potion? Uh, it heals me for uh, three. Heal three self. Yeah, because you definitely need to be healed some because you took a lot of damage from them to at least the last when, turn. Especially when, because I have the best initiative, they're coming after me when they get a chance. Yeah. So we gotta try to kill them hounds so they don't come after you. Cause I think their oh. their hound initiative is really high. It's 72. Uh, 72, so I hope you guys kill at least one of them. Yeah, um, well my I, initiative I, is 29. I get an experience for that throwing knives as well. Good, and Lance's initiative is 20. So we will be hit. We'll be able to hit them before well, yeah, it's, it's Lance, our turn. It's Lance's go right now. All right. So. On the Lance's turn, so Lance, what are you doing? Uh, uh it's my, gonna be my uh, rat swarm goes first. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move down. Number two is pretty hurting already if you want to attack yeah, number two. Did. Yeah, well, I, I can move him up one. And then attack number two still. Yeah, this is number two right here, right? Yeah. Yeah, because this way here, when I do my guy, I can, I can bring oh, my guy up to attack. That's, you realize if that you, is if, messing my plan. If you up close melee attack them, those elites have retaliate two. Oh, they got retaliate two? Yeah, yeah, you really don't want to... So even when even when your rats attack, they will be getting hit with retaliate. Right, so I'll, guess I'll stay there. My other guy's not gonna be able to do that. But save yourself. The, that retaliate is that's why I had to move back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the rats are soldiers. Yeah, the they're rats infantry. Are to die. All right. Um. Anyway, I'll do my attack. Uh, free attack. Plus my modifier. So plus two. All right. Not so that's bad. Attack plus two. That's a five. five. That's five. That killed uh, Hound number two, so which he means is... he won't retaliate because nope. he's dead. That's right. He can't retaliate when he's dead. So you see, it wouldn't matter if I move my rat up there. Yeah, but you didn't know. I didn't know how strong your rats were. Yeah. Why? Well, I, I explained it. Yeah. But you didn't know what you were going to draw for your yeah. attack modifier. That's attack. true. So it's um, better to plan. Instead of just although, wing it. Although attack three still would have killed him. But if he would have got a minus one or. Yeah. Three, yeah. Um, so that is your rat's turn then. That's my rat's turn. Um, on my turn, well. Uh, do you have any range stuff you can do from where you're at? Not with the cards that I brought out. No, not what I was going to do. Um, what if you. Well, what did you plan on? Are you planning to put up an offense? Yeah, well, I was, gonna, I, I was gonna move and then yeah, just use move. my attack, but I can't. I can't attack. Oh wait, I can move through that guy. Yeah. Yes, you can move through friends. So I can you move just can't move through enemies. I can move two. Well, no, is that gonna put me in the way of what you're gonna do? Yes. <laughs> well. Well, but he can come up the other side. Yeah. Um, it's, gonna it's not gonna work with the card that I picked, but it, oh, okay. it's just because uh, Wolf Number One should potentially be dead when I'm done with him. Especially if he also hits him. Yeah, because I was going to come up and attack this guy. How much space do you have? If you move up... I was going to move he here. Can only, he can only move two. Oh. Okay, well, he, you could go one, two, and also get the money. Yeah. I can move there. So that, that's I don't want to be in the way if he's going to yeah, no, do you're that. You're not going to be in the way we'll if move you do that. that. Move. Okay. And you get some cash. Ching. This is teamwork. Okay, now... <laughs> okay, that's the death there. That's now. the yeah. I'm going to do the attack. And what is your attack that you're using? Uh, the mind's weakness. So attack one, and then on your melee attacks, add plus two to attack. So yeah, it's an off. 
damage. Okay. So right now it's just an attack one. Yeah, so it's going to be three. So you're going to attack, attack one and it's going to be plus, no, plus two, so it's going to be three plus my modifier. Oh, so you may potentially kill him here too. And it's a plus zero. Oh, okay. All right, so uh, three attack. Three? Yeah. Does that three kill him? On him? That, that he's only had two on him already. This brings him to five. They have seven. Okay. And he, but he's... he has retaliate two, so you just took two damage as well. Yeah. See, that that's the thing is with enemies, when they have retaliate, they can yeah. mess you up horrible. Retaliate scares the crap out of me. Yeah. All right. So that is the end I of... I can heal myself though, so... Yeah. Oh... My plane's still gonna work, yes. All right, so I'm gonna do my turn. On my turn, I am going to move up two. So, one, two. Now I'm going to use my heavy swing. It is attack three, push one. You may push the target into a hex containing an obstacle. In each case, destroy the obstacle. The target suffers two damage and you gain one experience. So I am pushing him here. That destroys that. He's going to take two damage, uh, and I get one experience. That killed him. Nice. So the plan still did work. Woohoo! And that was the upper part of my turn. So I did my move and I did my attack. And you killed him. And I killed him. So he's done. That ends the turn for me, and then we are on to the hounds, and then we are on to the living spirits. We'll be back. Just to recap on what is happening, as you can see, there is no enemies at all on the board. That is because we teamed up and we managed to kill them all. Uh, Shane and Lance took out the Elise. Oh, I soloed that Elise. Yeah, plus you poisoned before, I, I poisoned, too, as yeah, well. I poisoned them because I moved up against them and then I, I just destroyed them. Yeah, and, then, and you know, like we just cleared it. And again, the objective of this scenario is kill all enemies, and we're kind of keeping track of everything right now. Killed all the enemies in this first room. Now, what we can do is just go around, try to collect the gold, and move up so that we can go into the open up the next room. I don't want any gold. Mm, this is going to be interesting. Oh, and also too, as well as the, the attack that I did last to kill that there, that the green leaf goes up to the full, which is the strong. All right, so that is it. And I'm not going to record all of our movement and everything. Once we go to bust open that door, we will be back. We are at the door right now, so we're going to kick it open, see what's inside, and venture in. But I just want to take uh, notes so everybody knows that Shane and I decided to do a rest before we do this because I have three oh, cards see. left. How many cards do you have? Uh, I don't know. I have already... Oh, you already did your rest thing? I've already did Okay, and you got to take your health back up. I think you yeah, healed that. three, is it, or two? I is two. Yeah, it's two. But I refreshed my armor, so that was ready right. as well, so. Yeah, that's good. Very important to rest in this game, because if not, you'd be in dire, dire trouble. So I'm going to kick the door open, and we'll see what is hiding on the other side. With the door busted open, we see some frost demons and we also see another living, living, spirit. living spirit so we have one elite frost demon and then the rest are just all regular and we also have some large boulders which is going to be obstacles too as well <sighs> and as i said uh, shane and i is taking a rest so now it is only on to lance for this and then all of these monsters are going to activate too as well so lance you got some uh, trouble oh uh, yeah what is your initiative there lance 11 Oh, then you're definitely going first. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see what happens. All right, Lance. It's up to you. What are you doing? Uh, I moved two. And I'm going to heal two. And I'm going to summon my other rats one. So you're having two summons on the board. Now, oh, before rats, you did, did rats. you get the other yeah, rats, rats to oh, move yeah, first? Rats. These guys moved two. So yeah. They'll be up here. All right. So I got two rats one go. And, and then it's your turn, you move to... Turn. Yeah. That's and then that's the end of your turn. So now... Right, so next would be the Frost Demons. They get... Their modifier card is Shield 2, Move plus 1, and Frost Demon suffers 1 damage. Sucks, yeah. yeah, apparently it's hot there and no, they're But melting. no, no, they will... You would have to move this flame down on the... Uh, 
the table for them to do it, but there's no flame activated, so they don't suffer the two damage. Oh, is that what that means? Yeah, oh. but these supposed to go down onto the next turn that was yes. there. Yeah. So, all right, so they don't suffer the damage. Nope. So the Frost Demon Elite, they have a movement of four. All right, so do the Elite move first. One, two, three, four. Yep. Which kind of sucks. You know, technically, he cannot move in there. Oh, okay, you can't. Because this is considered rough terrain, and it takes two movement points to, to move. move into? Yes. Okay. So then, yeah, uh, but uh, they don't have range, so that's cool. So all the other non-elite ones get to move three. All right, and the last is uh, the living, living spirit. spirit. Uh, he has a movement of three. His modifier for movement is plus zero. So. These guys all would have had one extra move as well because they get the plus one move there. Oh, yes. So these ones wouldn't move anymore, No. Obviously. And then uh, that's it for the movement for them? And the living spirit, is, is, is he charging the snowflake? Um, target all enemies with range. Within range. Within well, range. He's got a range of four. He doesn't have any within range, but there's... The yeah, he would charge the snowflake so it would go to strong. Okay. That helps us too. All right, so then that is the end of the turn, and then we're coming back to life, or coming back from a rest, and then we got to do initiative, and we will be back. All right, Jane, you have the initiative for this round. What are you planning on doing? Uh, I'm going to use my flintlock, and uh, it is currently an attack by range four. I have to lose it afterwards, but that's fine. But I'm also currently invisible from my last turn in the other round, yes. which doubles my next attack. So that'll be an attack 10. Attack 10? Attack 10. 10? 10. That's crazy. That's 10. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, it is. All so right. So I will be attacking uh, this elite frost demon because I don't like his face. All righty. All right. Uh, the elite, again, elites I do not like. No, and because they're mean. Yeah, um, and, well, not to mention they have retaliate. They've all all the frost whoa, demons that, have retaliate. Wait, but wait a minute, the all the frost demons have retaliate, uh, but I don't like retaliate. So, all right, my so, modifier uh, is a plus two, which hits him for twelve. I uh, he he's got to be Which dead. is how many life he has. So I just one shotted an elite frost demon. You are all welcome. Before you answered, before before you say anything, I'll answer your question. No, you're not getting any extra experience or gold for doing that. Wow. Um, yeah, my thing says I'm not allowed to get gold. So it's <laughs> Thought you guys would share, but no, you guys are jerks. Anyway, well, that... Even if we did share, you know, uh, that would still cancel out your uh, thing there. That's, That's right. right. That gets me 2 XP for that attack, plus the 2 XP from coming out of Invisible. So that's another 4 XP. How much XP you got right now? Uh, I'm rocking eight. Eight? Yeah, more than you have. More than you're allowed to get. Yeah, I know. I can only uh, get seven. Then it's going to get better because then I'm going to use my throwing knives. It is uh, attack two, range three, target two. Ooh, so you so can target. I can target number one and two. All right. All you right. know what one plus two equals? Three? No. Dead? That's right. <laughs> All right, so for number one, I got a plus zero. So that's just gonna be two damage to number one. All right. And for number two, I got a minus one. So that's gonna be one damage for him? That'll just be one damage on him. But I got another XP. And you are whittling them down, and again, the objective of this is to kill all enemies. Right, this goes into my room. I'm curious about what this big room on the end is going to reveal, because I, it's the last room of the game, and usually that means it's going to be a lot of enemies or something difficult. I'd rather just have one big guy. Yeah, maybe. All right, so who's next in the initiative round? You're sleeping. You have a 57. Yeah, I got a 57. You're next. I'm next? Yeah. All righty. We'll be back with my turn. On my turn, I am going to use the Sentinel Growth. It's attacked to range three, and it's got that uh, range the, symbol. The, 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 Hexes. Yeah, three hexes. That's that's the word I was looking for. Just getting focus camera. Yes. So there you go. That's what I'm doing. The Sentinel growth, and because of that, I'm going to hit them for. It's a plus two for the first guy. So that is going four. to be four. 
for number one. He has one life left. Nice. And now for number two, it is a plus one. So that's three. Yeah, three for that. Oh, actually, I forgot. I also I played this backwards. I was supposed to play the uh, movement one first because it says add plus one attack to all your range attacks this round. So add so plus one. So one more to each of them? Yes. All right, so the, the number one is dead then. Nice. Bye, number one. Yeah, I killed at least those with no pride. Yeah, that was a heavy swing, just so in case anybody is wondering there. You can show you did the bottom part. Now, this here symbol, it I don't discard it, it gets tapped. I think that's what that symbol means with the, the arrow, or do you shuffle it back in the deck? I'll double check into that. I think you probably shuffle it back in the deck because that arrow there means tap. Okay, no, so it has like a, a recycle thing. Just wait till I double check. The little symbol means to it stays on the table to the end of the round, but it's going in the discard anyhow because I already use it, so it's in the discard and that ends my turn. Onto the frost demons part. So what happens here, Shane? Remember, this is a difficult terrain, so it takes two movement points. To All right, move so into they it. have a movement of three minus one from their modifier. So technically, they have a movement of two. So he's only going to be able to move to there, and he will only be able to move to there. They do not have range, so they're done. All right, and then we have the uh, living, the living spirit. spirit. They have a movement of three, but they also have a minus one, so they have a movement of two. They do have range, but not enough to get us. Ooh, so that ends the turn. That's the end of this round, yeah. Nice. That that was pretty uneventful for the enemy's part, and I'm very happy for that. So we'll be back when something <sighs> else big happens. Hopefully, nothing too big is going to happen that's going to be detrimental to the characters. I wasn't going to record anything for this next round, but something very significant just happened. So, Lance, do you want to... Walk us through what you did for your rats and everything for this part. I moved my rats up, moved him up there. He had three, so he was able to do one and then two, three. But he, chose, but he chose not he to won. attack. I yes. chose not to Wh attack. Which we rat. both commented, why wouldn't you attack? Yeah. Yeah. He told us to shut up. Yeah, yeah, that's right. He literally said, just shut up. So then with my character, I used the uh, submissive affliction, and I used the bottom one, which is force one enemy within range five to perform attack two. Targeting another enemy with you controlling the action. So what I did is I made this guy here attack this guy. And hit him for four damage. For two. And then I pulled my thing out and I got the Attacks times two. two cards. Right, so four damage. So right. Did so. four damage to him. So he did the four damage and now this guy here retaliated. For the two damage. For two damage. Which killed number which two. Which killed him. Which is really so funny. he's out. Yeah, that, that was pretty interesting that it happened there. It's, you know, we're definitely knocking down the, yeah. the enemies quickly. And then now with my next one, I'm going to use the hostile takeover. Uh, it's going to be the top one. So it's going to be attack two, range of four, uh, mobilizes them and charges the snowflake. And again, get an experience for that. So I'm going to use this one now. That's four, one, two, three, four. So I have the range to get And your snowflake goes up. Yep. Use my modifier, and it's a minus one, so I guess it didn't really work out too well. So, so I hit him with one. One damage? Yes. All right. So that's at five damage now. So he can't even retaliate to even no. attack me either. So. No. Well, he could if he was in range. He does, but he's he not doesn't have a range. Yeah. Yeah. Too bad it couldn't be that, oh, he's going to shoot anyhow and retaliate and hit this guy, but we can't yeah. play it that way. It would have no. been nice. But anyhow, that was really cool. Uh, again, I had to record that part because it yeah. just... Monsters taking out monsters. I almost killed that guy too. Yeah, the, the retaliate yeah. works really good when it's not retaliating against yourself. Yeah, yeah when you're forcing them to retaliate against each other. Yeah, I'm learning more and more why they call your character the mind thief now. Because you completely into their mind and you infect them I and got, just get them to do other things that they don't like want that, to do. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'd be interested to see it again if you level up more and you get level three cards. What level three cards you would get? Because the one you just used was that a level two card by chance? Uh the hostile takeover is a level two. Okay, so but, again, you can see some of the more menacing power that the mind thief will yeah. get. But well, the, that, the that one that I used, used the force the attack. Yeah, the, yeah, the one that I used to force him to attack was just a level one card. Oh wow. Yeah. That's oh. what I was using the whole time before. Mama. All right, we're going on. I just had to record that because, again, it was very, very cool what happened, and I didn't want anybody to miss that. 
Too bad it wasn't recording when it happened live, but we did still come back and do it. So on with the game. Lance just realized something. So he moved his rat swarm up here that he just summoned, which is no, difficult. That, no, no, that's yeah, my no. first one. Yeah, oh. that, that rat has a movement of three. Oh. His other summoned rat. Oh, yes, the other summoned only rat have has a movement of one. A movement of one. So when he gets up to the rough terrain, what's going to happen, Lance? Uh, he's not going to be able to go over there to help us. Right, he's going to be stuck there the entire length of the game. I should be able to pick him up and just throw him over. <laughs> yeah, but uh, you can't. And unfortunately, your rat swarm is stuck right there. Yep. Well, he, he's guarding the entrance yeah. so that he's, nobody else is stuck up behind us. <laughs> yes, that's right. I just wanted to point that out. <laughs> just to recap on where we're at right now is because we don't have any enemies on the board, we did a remove and so forth. And we did some heals too. You had yes. heal cards, I had heal cards. That puts me back to full because I'm taking a rest now as well. So. Yes. Shane and I are taking a rest because we can't do anything else. Lance's uh, rat swarm here has moved up. The other rat swarm, he's stuck because he can only has movement of one. He can't move into difficult terrain. He's guarding the rear. Yeah, he, he's protecting, you know. And that's, that's about it. So we're going to take a rest. Lance still has a go. Lance can still go. Yeah, Lance, you yeah, might as well just do your turn right now. You can make that rat move around and collect wool. You can! That's right. <laughs> That's a good idea because I'm just going to move the camera here. There still is two gold. There. There's two gold there, so at least you can do that for the rat. Yeah, that rat can at least do something. Yeah. Instead of being useless. So, uh, Shane and I are taking the rest, so it's just you and there's no enemies on the board, so you pretty much have free reign. So you're just going to move the rats? The rats go first always? Yes. Well, I'm, move this for well, you. I'm already done. No, we, this is a new round. Your new round, because oh. Shane and I are taking a rat. Oh. And then you get the one move on that rat. Yeah. And then you get whatever cards you're playing. Yeah. Move two. Move two. And then that's pretty much it, right? Yeah. All right, so that ends that, and we're on to the next round. On to the next round. Lance is going first. So Lance, what are you doing? Move your rats. Yeah, oh, that's right. Rats. It's I got this one. And off camera, I'm just moving your swarm number yep. three one space towards the gold. Yep. Um, hey, what are you doing with the mine thief? I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna move four. Just move four. So one, two, three, four. Yeah. All right. That's it. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. So uh, I'll be going next. So I've got a move five. One, two. Oh, hold on a second. Move five. So what happens is because Shane is triggered, I'm just going to loosen up the camera tripod a bit. Go here. You can see a little bit. We're going to back up now. Oh, look at all what's in that room. This is horrible. We have, we can, it consists of spirits. Four living spirits. Yeah, four living spirits. Two hounds and an elite frost demon. Yes, and we also got some stun traps in there. We have a treasure chest, and we have some stalactite. So yeah. All right. So I got to move a five from my open wound card. So it's two, three, four, five. Brings me right beside this living spirit. So I'm gonna attack him. Uh, yes, I'm gonna attack. Uh, Eight plus zero. So you hit him for eight. I hit him for eight. That definitely toasts so. him. Yeah, he's done. Yeah, he is done like dinner. He is gone. So all right, problem and that is, ends your problem turn. is I'm in that room. Yeah, and you you don't have the initiative, but the thing is, is if they can't reach Lance in their turn, they're gonna come after you. Do yeah, we seen this happen before with the elites? Remember? They're next. They're twenty six, so they have a movement of four. So they would they not go one, two, three, four? Um, because in their mind, before they got to rough terrain, they could have made yeah, it. They don't have range, so they would. I would assume that they would go to the one who has initiative two exactly. as well, okay. because it's a clear line of sight, right? Three words on. All right, so after 26, what are you? You're a 38, you're after next. 38. Oh, oh boy, this is interesting. I'm just gonna keep the camera rolling, why not? So I have uh, a movement of four that I'm gonna do first. Uh, okay, one, two, 
One, two, three. And four, I can't go there because it the takes two. Here. Yep, that's fine. And now I'm going to, I have a range of five, attack of two. Ah. Now, did you want to maybe not go close to them so you don't get hit yeah, with the retaliate? Yeah, that's probably a better way for sure. Yeah. I did. I forgot that I retaliated. Yeah, everything left has got retaliate. Yeah. So I do have a range of five though, so I'm going to hit the guy that's right into the center. Ah, so number three. So Ooh. it Down is number three. attack two plus... Attack two plus minus one. So attack one. Yes. All right, so number three gets hit for one. At least they did something to him. They only have six. Yeah. All right, so then that brings it to the living spirits. Uh, <coughs> all right, so they have a movement of three. So they're also going after Lance. Now, because they are blocked, They're all just huddling up at the door, saying, hey, what's up, guys? Uh, but they do have range. They have a range of three, oh. which is not enough to get anybody. So oh. it doesn't matter. Who does? The, the living spirits have a range. Although number four here would attack me. Yes. So I will be attacked by a living spirit for a damage two plus two. So I got hit for four. What does that trap you down to? Uh, well, I had nine. Because I was full after my rest yep. and our heels. Minus four is five. Hey, you're still doing good. You're still in the game. Yeah, oh yeah. Now, again, you have to remember, all of these enemies that are left, once we kill them, the game is over. We yeah. win. And I know why why Shane ran to that room. Ooh, no, you can't. I can't loot things. No, you can't. So... I also forgot when I attacked that guy that was on his own, I got to put a marker on my single out card. Yeah. Which earned me an XP. So what's left now is the uh, the frost, frost demon. demon. Frost demons go. He uh, he has a speed of three, but he's got a movement of minus one. So he's going. So he's got two. a movement of two. So he is probably a jerk. And yeah, we'll he's definitely going to be able me. to attack you. Yeah. Which oh. which will not be fun for my life. Well, hopefully it's going to be safe there because well, he has an attack of three. Oh, oh, that's a nothing. Oh wait, get in focus. But back of it, back of it. There you go. So that's a nothing. But is there a reshuffle on that card? There, there totally is. Okay. But I'm all right with that. It stopped me from being dead right now. So. Yep. No, nope, there's nothing wrong with that. And also too, as well, I just noticed for the uh, frost demons, they do have to reshuffle yeah. into it. So after we're done in this round, well, that this, gets this round is over. The frost demons were lost. Oh. So they shuffle the cards back again, and this is where we're standing. Hopefully, we're gonna knock these enemies out quickly and. I hopefully can get to the chest before Lance, because I know Lance wants Lance, that Lance chest. has been hoarding a lot of gold this Yeah, time. I know. So, Lance, let me get that chest. I'm long resting right now. So. I know. All right, so All right, so next on. round. Yep. We have a ton of enemies that are just waiting and drooling at the moment to come attack us. So we drew the initiative, and as it stands, who is the first one to go? The Hounds. Ooh. And they have 19. Yeah. All right. So it's the hound's turn. All right. So they're gonna they're gonna each come up and attack. Uh, well, how much do they move? Uh, they're moving a four. So yes, that one come up and attack you. This one will most likely come and attack. Yeah. That and one. also, you're long resting. You said right, Lance. So they are gonna attack me first. All right. So they're gonna attack you. Their attack is two minus one. So one. So one. You take one. Uh, I'm, I'm using my shield. <laughs> That's smart. <laughs> yeah. And they also have, with their modifier, uh, they have an attack modifier of zero, move of zero, but they also have add plus two attack if the target is adjacent to any of the hound's allies, which will affect me because I am adjacent to one of their allies. Yes. So the modifier card I got for them, my luck. Off camera. This is that. This is saving me. That's twice now that I, I would have got severely like, injured. Oh, upside down. But still, yeah. That and the symbol in the bottom there means to reshuffle at the end, at the end of, of the of round. round. Yeah. Well, that's not too bad though. You know, you, you kind of lucked out there. Uh, yeah. No, because that would have been what an attack of two plus. That would have been an attack. Yeah, of but four. I'm saying you're kind of lucked out because look who else is beside you. Yeah, but I get to go before him. 
Hopefully he'll do some damage. Like how much how much health does he have left in the uh, elite? The Nothing. Elite, yeah, he hasn't been hit. So he has twelve. Yeah. He is, he is full. All right. So that he ends. Had that lovely card that did twelve. That ends <laughs> the hounds. Ah uh, yes, that is the end of the hounds because there is only two of them. Okay. So the next initiative is me at twenty three. So I'm going to start off with uh, uh, what am I doing here? Oh, uh, a venom shiv. Got a venom shiv here. It. Uh, Attack for three, poison one. And you're gonna do the elite? I'm going after the elite. Yeah, that's a, probably a good idea to do. So my modifier is eight times two. Nice. So that's six plus poison. And with poison, if you haven't seen any of the other episodes and you don't know about Gloomhaven, when somebody gets poison, whether it's an enemy or if it's a hero, on their next turn, they they, you hit well, them, they take an extra damage. Every time they get hit, they right. take an extra damage. But that only on the next turn, fortunately, because it would have been nice if you gave an extra hit now because you're poisoned. I am going to hit him again now. Oh, okay, so there you go. What card, what card was that that you just played? Uh, I just used Venom Shiv. Okay, yeah, you said oh, that. that. That earned me an XP. All right. Uh, then I'm going to use the the Thieves Knack and hit him in the sack. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's an attack three. Plus, obviously, the one for the damage. Or yeah. For the, so that's four plus. Uh, yeah. Well, it's attack three. Yeah, but you. Uh, yeah. So four. Yeah. So four. And I drew my muddle card. Ooh. So he's gonna get hit for four, and he will be muddled. So he's going to be disadvantaged when it comes his turn to attack back. And he has a lot of health. Well, that's twelve health. That's crazy. He's got ten damage on. Oh, two left. Yeah, I couldn't do a little bit more. That would have been nice. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! All right, so that ends my total. That attack gave me a, an extra. And he can't retaliate either. Uh, because, because he's muddled. Now, I just want to point out that during this entire length of this uh, quest that we're doing, I never get hit for one. Yeah. Actually, this is the first time I get hit. Because you're always in the back. I'm not always in the back. I get hit for one this time, but my high armor is absorbed for one. So that's pretty good. All right, right. So who's next in initiative? You're sleeping. Yes, what you're sleeping. You I, 78. 78, yep. All right, so next will be the Frost Demon. So he's going to attempt to hit me for obvious reasons. Yes. I, I upset him. But yeah. he can't. Cause he, he don't muddled. like you. He's muddled, so he gets disadvantaged. So right, so you draw two and take the less. So I drew a plus one and a minus one. So he takes the minus one. All right. So he hit me for three damage. Yes, three damage. Three damage for you? Yeah. This is a long take, I have to say, but you know, we're kind of caught up. We're getting close to the end of the game. I'm excited. Hopefully, we're going to finish this soon. The living spirits will go before before me. Before you. Yeah, because my lowest initiative is 78. And they have a uh, movement speed of three minus one. Two. Now, the thing is, is you have a higher initiative. So well, they're going to come towards you. But the Hound has the best initiative. The Hound is done. Yeah, but uh, speaking <laughs> hero-wise. Yeah, I know. Unfortunately. Sorry, can, Shane. Can, can they uh, attack through their, their comrades? They can shoot through the comrades, yeah. They just can't All move right. through well, them. Well, in which case, they're probably not even going to move. Uh, because they have a range of three, and they're all within range three of me. So the three here... Are all within range of me. And they can all hit them. I would assume they would try to get closer, though. You know, to get a better shot. Yeah. Does that makes sense? Yeah. Well, why not? Because they're going to have to try to get closer to you regardless. Yeah. So that means... Uh, so all... You got yourself in a sticky situation. Yeah. But all, this all, same all thing happened with the elites, and they almost knocked you down dead. All right. So let's see what they get against me. The first one attacks, and he gets a minus one. Thank the Lord. That brings me down to one. Health. You have one health left? I have one health. But I also have my hide armor I can take hits off of as well. Okay. Uh, the next one hits me for uh, Living Spirit. Hits me for two minus, or plus zero. So I'm going to take those two hits on my hide. And then the next one uh, hits me for plus zero again. I, I'm sitting here with my toes crossed because I don't yeah. want you to die here because this yeah. is going to be no, uh, well, pivotable 
No, I, I actually just died. What? Because I have one life left. And I have a heater shield that can give me a sh one shield. Yeah. But um, that means I would still take one hit, which would put me at zero. So you died. I I died. Oh no. You guys just lost your damage. Uh, I don't. With, have fun with the rest <laughs> of your lives. <laughs> Crap. Okay. We're in some deep trouble here, Lance, because... Uh, uh, you still get your turn, though. I know, but we're at the end of the game, and we're down one guy now. Or, one female. Uh, yeah, I'm a girl. Yeah. Sonya Hunting Hawk has been sent to the infirmary. All right, it's on to my turn. We're on to my turn, and I just told Shane off camera that I did have a card that was going to heal if he didn't die, but unfortunately I didn't get to him in time. So, V was a little too slow, mm, but my cards, what I'm going to do, because I had this all planned out, no matter if we failed, the other character failed or not, so I'm going to move. So, my movement is going to be here, because it takes two there, so I can't do that. Now, I have a range of one, and I'm going to use a Dirt Tornado. Now, it's attack one, range two, and just to show... Look at that. that. That that is gonna hit all five of those. Yeah, guys. that's that's what I was planning on is to try to whack them. So it is attack one and I'm flipping over modifier and I get a plus one. Uh, so that's two attacks. That, that's for... that's two hits on everybody. Oh it doesn't ooh, it doesn't ooh. do anything to the living spirit. It, it's not two hits on everybody. Two hits on the first one, I have to draw a card for each one of them. Oh, okay. Hits. So which is your target? Uh, your main target is probably this. Yeah. Alright, so he won't take any damage because he has two shield. Oh, maybe my plane's not that great then. <laughs> well, yes, because the three of those guys have two shields, so. Alright, so then my next one is attacking... The other spirit. Yeah, and it's a minus one. So that... They have a shield anyhow, they have, so... Yeah, they have shield too. I don't think my plane's going to be working very well. All right, so uh, the my other, next the other spirit. one. Let's go with the other spirit. Uh, I don't like this. It is a minus one again. So nothing. Nope. Uh, next will be the frost <laughs> demon. Lance, we you, are in some. He he has no shield. He, we're in some deep trouble here, Lance. We have plus one. So that's three. Um, nope. You did two. two. Yeah. Two you did, no, you did two, and then you got a plus one. No, it's. Oh, it's attack one attack plus one. one so plus two. Plus one. Yeah. Yeah. So, so a total of three. Yes. All right. No, it's a two. either way, two kills it. Because he had 10 damage on Ooh, him. Oh, also two as well. Plus he had poison on him. Everybody I'm attacking is muddled. Oh, I will definitely muddle everybody. Either way, you, you killed the frost demon. Nice. Because he was also poisoned, which would have added the extra one. So the only one left to do is to hound that That snare. hound, yes. And unfortunately, I drew the zero. So it will just take one, because it has no shield. Yep. But it's got to reshuffle things, so I'm able to reshuffle my whole deck. All right, and everybody is currently muddled. Except nice. for number three. Yeah, which is in front of... Uh, That's fine. That's fine. Okay. I thought I was going to do more damage with this one, but unfortunately it didn't do as what I wanted. So All right, uh, so then that ends this round, and we'll be back. Hopefully we're going to knock them out there, Lance, because, you know, we got to revenge our fallen comrade. Avenge. Yeah, somebody's got to pick me up. Yeah, we'll avenge you. Kind of in the middle of this round, but so explain what happened there, Lance, what you did so far. Oh, the camera's kind of shaky there. All right. Uh, I moved my rat here. Uh, this one down here obviously moved, but who cares about Yeah, that. off camera. Uh, I killed, I attacked the, uh, 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 the hound. hound that was there with my rat. So I got three. The rat attacks with three. Plus and two. I picked up a plus two, so that was five. That was enough to kill him. All right. Uh, now I'm gonna take my guy. I'm gonna use range. I'm gonna use submissive affliction, which is forces the enemy of range five uh, within range of five to perform an attack. And I gotta make him. So I'm gonna make him attack this hound here. All right. So he's gonna attack that hound. For uh, how many? Is it uh, two attack? His attacks two. Zero right. range. Uh, it's a uh, times two. So four. Yeah. So that hound takes four damage. Times two, yeah, four. 
All right, so he has five damage on him now. And what's his health? But uh, they have a health of six. But then that hound's going to retaliate against that uh, living spirit for two, and the living spirit shield will just eat that. Because yeah. the living spirit has two shield? Yes. Ooh. That was a good try, though. Damn. I thought it was a good try. All right, so that is your, no. your turn. I got one more rat. attack. Oh, shoot, that's right. I got one more attack. You did the rat. So it's attack four, range five. That's going to be a disarm and a snowflake. So let's see here. Who are you four. attacking? Um, the... I can't attack the hound because he's, no, he's, he's off to the side. No, he's off to the side. You would have a shot at any, all, any three of those. Uh, he needs two, so I'm gonna. I'll just. Ta- I'll take that guy out. All right. Yeah, so no, uh, number three. Yeah. So it's attack four and plus two. So six. Six. Yeah. But uh, he has two shields. He has two shields. Four. So four. That's still enough to kill him because they only have two. Yeah. Left. He would be disarmed. Right. He's dead. So. Yeah. I'm so sure, I'm sure he dropped his weapon. This goes when he away. Died. I gained two experience off of that. Uh, That's really good. We only got three left. I want to try to get that. I don't think we're going to be able to get that treasure chest. Because so. the our trap disarmor guy yeah, girl died. is dead. I died. And it's also blocked by well the stalactite. And plus, we want to try to kill them anyhow, so we may not get it. But you know, no big deal. As long as we <coughs> finish the campaign, I'll be happy with it. Yeah, so I, have, I have a card that does jump too, so really I could jump that. You get, you could jump the trap. Yeah. Oh, I might even have a. That's right. I forgot all this. Yeah, that. but then you got to get through all that. Yeah, and right. we got to kill them anyhow. So let's just focus on kill them. We have to think of the objective and not worry about yeah, yeah. other Who cares about the for now. I just want to know what's in it though. Yeah. I know. All right, anyhow, so you're done in your turn, so then who would be next? I uh, have initiative 82. 82? You are horrible. You are so the, li- the living spirits will go next. All right. And uh, they have a range attack of three. So they can't get to Lance currently, but if this one moves here, then they can attack Lance. They will both be attacking poor little Lance because he has a better initiative. Yeah. So... The first one, number four. Oh, that's gonna jump up. Uh, they have they are muddled, so they get disadvantage, which is good because they drew a times two. So instead, oh. it'll be a plus one. So that'll be three damage from number four against you. Don't forget that got the reshuffle. Oh, but you had I did, to take I did the reshuffle. Yeah. Uh, so this disadvantage will be the plus zero. So that'll be two damage. Two damage brings me down to life. Oh, oh, okay. You can't die because well, I need... The wolf, the wolf can't get you anyway. Unless you kill a spirit and the wolf has room to go in. Because it's your go next. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, I gotta think on this. Just to recap on what happened, I didn't record unfortunately. But pretty much all I did is I killed one of the living spirits. And then the hound activated and they... I purposely killed this guy here. Because if I hit him, the hound would have been able to come in a little closer. So this way the hound had to backtrack around. And that's what it is. We're at the end of the round. Then we're on to the next round. There's two left. I really want that treasure though. Anyhow, I gotta stop thinking that. Okay, let's move on. We'll be back. On to the next round. Now, I've been doing movement off camera for this guy, but we did move the rats go first and picked up the uh, the gold coin that was there or the token. Now, we didn't discuss the initiative for this, but Lance goes first. And then it's going to be the hounds, and then it's going to be myself. Then the living spirit. And then the living and spirit. And model has run out on them. Unfortunately. All right, Lance. All right. Um, what are you doing? Kill him. That's what you're doing. Just this whole out. Yeah, I know. I yeah, just wish should... I could move, though, to use that one. Because now it's going to be pointless. I'm not going to be able to use the second turn. Whatever. I'm going to use a hostile takeover, and I'm going to use the bottom one this time, one that I haven't used yet. And what does it say? It's so, uh, force one normal or elite enemy within range three to perform its turn this round as if its allies were enemies and its enemies were allies. To signify this, place one of your character tokens on this enemy for the round. All right. Mm-hmm. No, I, there's only one with the high. Yeah. yeah, I don't think you need to place it onto it. So, anyway. 
Uh, let's see here. He's going to attack. Yeah, it'll just be his. Street. Yeah. So yeah, when, you do hit, you when the living hit, spirit then. goes, when it's his turn, he'll go. No. Hit, yes. This on round. his turn, this round. Yeah. Right. So when it comes to his turn, then I will use him to then attack the hound unless he's dead. Right. It's on his turn, so yeah, you don't it's on do his it turn, now. It's not right it's away. Just it's on this his round. Turn. To perform his turn on this round. Yeah. So you did that. That was the bottom card. So the top card. What are you doing? Can you do anything with your top card? Nothing. If I was adjacent to you, I could give you something, but I can't. I'm okay. To and it's just a throwaway in because you can't do it. You don't even get the XP from it. Now, I'm not even gonna do it. So. Did you move that that rat swarm, the number one rat swarm, before you went? Yes. Yes, he did. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that ends your turn. Then now it's on to the the hound. The hound. The hound. Or hound. Yes. All right. So the hound drew a. Uh, Move plus zero and attack plus zero modifier card. So instead, he's just gonna move uh, one space up here and try to bite you in the cap. Yeah, well, then go ahead. All right, so he got at plus zero. Ah, so, so uh, two damage. Two damage. damage. Just, just two damage. You can and take another hit on yeah, your armor. Yeah, I'm putting a hit on my armor. And because I take one damage, that drops me down to 11. Yeah, 11. Must be nice. I'm at zero. Uh, I'm trying to do it with one hand. There we go. All right. Sure go. Now it's my turn. So with the cards that I have, um, I had a plan, but well, they're right beside me. So why not? So I'm first going to attack four. So against two, the hound or the spirit. Well, who has to retaliate? Uh, the hound has to retaliate. Okay, so. But if you attack the spirit, the spirit this turn will technically be attacking for lands. So I guess he's attack the hound is what you're saying? Well, I'm saying the hound only has one hit point left, and I'm pretty sure that living spirit is going to do one damage to him. Yeah. Just saying. All right, so yeah, that's what I'll do. Attack the hound. Regardless, if think about it, though. If you attack the hound and kill him, he only has one hit left. Right. Then the spirit will have nobody to attack anyway. Right. So you might as well attack the spirit. So basically, I just ruined my, wasted my thing. No, it's not wasted. No, but yeah, you can't attack yeah I'll do the spirit. They have one shield, right? Uh, two shield. Two shield. Yeah. So the attack I'm doing, it's a plus four, and I, and I got a plus one, so that's five, so it takes three you damage. You plus four attack? Yep. Uh, yep, all right. Four so attack. You just, you just dealt five to it, so you killed them. Yep. Which is totally fine. It would have been nice if he would have had a better initiative than you and maybe killed the hound first, but... But, now, my other card, the crater... It says all adjacent allies and enemies suffer one damage. Oh, so my rat takes so damage. So your rat will take the damage, but so will the hound, which will be enough to kill the hound. Right. Which will then End the game. complete the mission. Yep. And we got all this treasure just chilling out here. I know, but it had to be done. We had to play for the objective, not for the prizes. See, I, 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 I think that anything left on the table like that at the end there's nothing stopping our guys from looting that stuff before we leave. We should just get it. No, because if that's the case, we would have been doing this right from uh, that's, Quest that's, that's what I'm saying, though. I think it's silly. It may be silly, but unfortunately, we just unfortunately can't do it. Yeah. There you have it, Board Game Maniacs. That is the conclusion for Gloomhaven Month for the month of February. I hope this plan that we're doing for Board Game Maniacs is actually working where you're going to the Facebook page, you're looking at the shooting calendar to see what the month is going to be, where the four primary videos for that month or more is devoted to that game. So last month, the month of January, actually was uh, The Walking Dead, All Out War, Prelude to Woodbury. Now this is Gloomhaven month. And the next month, I have to check my uh, shooting schedule. Actually, I just jump on Facebook and check it, but unfortunately, I am not at the computer right now because I am recording and I can't remember. But just check out the Facebook channel. It's facebook.com slash boardgamemaniacs, and you'll see what the shooting schedule is for what is going to be played in March. On top of that, too, as well, remember, we still do have live streaming going on that we do periodically, and it's on Twitch and YouTube right at the moment but once we hit partnership for twitch we are going to be posting uh just on twitch and then just on youtube and then just on facebook live so right now we are multi-platform streaming until we hit partnership when this video is 
comes out, we may actually hit partnership. I don't know yet. Or affiliate, whatever it's called. I can't remember. So until then, I hope you enjoyed this game. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to be entered in for giveaways. And also just to help Board Game Maniacs out. You can also go to patreon.com slash boardgamemaniacs and become an official sponsor of Board Game Maniacs. You can donate $2 a month or a one-time fee of $2 and then, you know, stop donating after that if you like. It's up to you. Or you can also go to streamlabs.com slash boardgamemaniacs1 and you can also do a one-time donation if you choose to. If not, just by showing your love, watching these videos, and hitting the subscribe, the like button, and commenting is a very big thing that we love because that's how we learn to play the games even more and even better. So until next time, Board Game Maniacs, communication like these guys talking to each other, even though if they fight back and forth and banter between each other, it's still communication. It's a lot of fun. And I top it all off. That's right. It is, you know, everybody's going to say, Lance, don't say a word. Shane, uh, don't say nothing. Either. Yeah. Oh my god, he said it! And remember, comment down below to let us know what is very strange about Shane. He's st he is standing out like a sore thumb for this video, and you gotta know why he's standing out as a sore thumb for this video, even though he looks like a sore thumb anyhow. Anyhow, till next time, be a maniac! Woo! Hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to keep up to date with Board Game Maniacs, click on the like and subscribe button to be notified when more videos come available. If you want to become an official sponsor of Board Game Maniacs, go to patreon.com slash boardgamemaniacs. Or you can go to streamlabs.com slash boardgamemaniacs1. That's right, and you can donate to help keep the lights on, keep food in our bellies, and play more games. We'll purchase more games, more equipment to make Board Game Maniacs evolve and get bigger and larger because of you, the viewers. I thank you from the bottom of my toes to the top of my head for all of your support. And until next time, board game maniacs, be a maniac.